All right, guys, on today's video, we are back on the Nintendo Wii. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you install all the proper CIOSs. Now, this is going to be the Wii Hacks Guide method. Uh, it's going to be the offline version. Uh, so first, we're going to get on the Wii Hacks Guide page. So just scroll down on the page until you see section one. This is going to give you all the instructions on how to create all the wads. Um, I've already created a wads pack, which I'm going to leave in my page. So just scroll down on my page until you find the wallpaper to the video. Go over to the all CIOS pack download link uh, and download the file. It's going to be in a zip format. You're going to have to unzip it using WinRAR or 7-Zip. I've also left um, key instructions, which I'm going to leave in the uh, video as well. So make sure you install Preloader and back up your Wii's NAND just in case of a brick. Install all four CIOSs using any WAD manager. For example, Wii Mod Lite. And now you can run all your backup games on USB Loader GX or Wii Flow. Uh, this method is only going to work on the Wii, not the Wii U. Uh, so if you want to do it yourself, the program is called NUS Downloader. You're going to run the EXE and then follow the instructions off the Wii Hacks Guide. Um, it's going to create some, the titles. You're going to go into each one. And it's going to have a WAD folder. You're going to have to put all four WADs in the WAD folder on your SD card. So now here's my SD card. Uh, WADs folder. We hack Guide CIOS pack. And there's all the four WADs. And then I'm going to have my NAND backup right there. And then also under the apps folder, there's preloader. So make sure you do all that. Uh, that's basically it for the setup of the SD card. Now we're going to get on the Wii. Uh, I'll show you how to install the WADs and see if we can run some games. All right, now over on the Wii. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to run preloader, uh, change some settings. Um, if you don't have the watch channel, you can uh, start it through the homebrew channel. So let's just start it up. Now on this menu, just scroll down to System Menu Hacks, press A. Uh, make sure you have Block Disk Updates enabled and Block Online Updates enabled. And then go down to Region Free Everything enabled. And then Save Settings. Now press B. Go back to system menu. Now we're going to run Wiimaw Lite to install all the CIOSs. Go down to the WAD manager, press A, press A on the WSD slot, go down to your WADs folder, press A, uh, find your Wii Hacks Guide CIOS's WADs pack, press A, there's the four WADs, uh, to install all of them at once, just press 1, uh, so press A to install them all. This shouldn't take too long. Okay. 
few more seconds. One more. Press any key to continue. Press B. Press home. Should take you back to the uh, main menu. Now you should have all the proper CIOSs. Uh, now we're gonna run USB Loader GX to see if we can load the games. So let's start it up. Now this is gonna work using the SD card or a USB device. I'm just gonna use a uh, SD card. So you're gonna have to press A to launch uh, SD card mode. So here's all my Wii games. We're gonna start one up just to see if it works. So we're gonna do New Super Mario Bros. Start it up. And there you go. So it looks like everything's working. Now you'll have all the proper CIOSs to run all your games. I will leave all the links in the pinned comment. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.